Now, you can listen to Wine and Dine Radio while shopping at the grocery store or your neighborhood wine merchant. Wine and Dine Radio can be heard using your wireless internet on your cell phone. You're listening to iWine Radio. iWine Radio is a production of Food Tastes Better with Wine on the web at iwineradio.com. Hey guys, I thank you for listening to iWine Radio and we are still the only wine channel on iTunes Radio. If you go look under iTunes Radio icon and scroll down to News and Talk Directory and it's listed alphabetically, click on that and the stream comes up immediately. iWineRadio.com where you can find links to individual guests. And if anyone's interested in advertising or becoming an underwriter or sponsor, please contact us at iWineRadio.com. We really, really appreciate your support. The more support we get, the more conversations I can have with fascinating people around the world, including you. If you have a story to tell that you'd like to share on iWine Radio, go to iWineRadio.com and contact us, and we'll go from there. Today we have the pleasure of meeting a world-renowned author, truly, on the subject of wine chemistry and wine technology. His books are so influential that they're even used as study guides for people who are uh, studying for the uh, Institute Masters of Wine program. But if you teach about wine if you are interested if you make wine currently or interested in thinking about wine and if you're a student of wine and you'd like to know why oh you know what happens in uh, in the production of wine or what even happens what's in why in your glass what is the result of what's in your glass then these books would be very very good resources concepts in wine chemistry the third edition is currently available and we will have links up to the exact ISBN number and Concepts in Wine Technology 3rd Edition as well. And joining us today on Wine and Dine from Napa is the author, Dr. Yer Margalit. And I'd like to give a little introduction of him beyond these fantastic books. He is the author of the best-selling Winery Technology and Operations and Concepts in Wine Technology he is founder and winemaker of the renowned Margalit Winery and teaches wine technology and chemistry at the Institute, yeah, I'm sorry, pardon me, Israeli Institute of Technology. He is currently on a two-year sabbatical in Napa. He goes back and forth between Israel and Napa. And we thank you so very much for coming down off whatever mountain you are staying to get good phone reception and talk to us today. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Lynn. <laughs> so where in Napa are you? Right, right now in St. Helena. Okay. And what's the weather like in St. Helena right now? Uh, start to become uh, beautiful. It was very cool uh, this morning, really cool. Mm. So are you consulting with with a winery in or two in Napa, or is this a sabbatical because you're you're writing another book? No, uh, I'm not consulting. Uh, I came here to Napa uh, uh, almost two years ago was to update uh, the two books uh, okay. for the third edition. So I have to stay here and uh, stay time in the library, speak with uh, winemakers, what happens new in the last 10 years. Oh, wow. And, yeah, and I finished I finish it, and the, the book is now in the market. So it's this third edition is brand new out. Yeah, they, they have been published the first one, I think, in uh, October 12, and uh, and the uh, technology in December or, or something like this, a few months ago. Oh, my gosh. When, when you interview winemakers for as part of the, the research and data for your books, do you do audio interviews or video interviews, or is it all you go and, and are writing notes? I just write notes, uh, tasting wines, and... Uh, okay. And learn, and learn, you know, it, it, I call it field learning. I go to the, to the people who make the wine, and always, always, 
I get some uh, new information which I didn't know or I, I suspect I know, and uh, they give me new, new sight about it. What did you earn your Ph.D. in originally? Was It was in chemistry? In physical chemistry. I'm a physical chemist in my profession. Uh, my, my, my Ph.D. was done on NMR, which is nuclear magnetic resonance. And now you can find it in medicine, like uh, it's called now MRI. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, the, but the, the basic physics of it is more, but more or less was my, my background on my PhD. But so, I switched to, to the chemistry of wine after, after what, what What it was the spark? What, what happened in your life that, that made you switch from what you were doing, your, your PhD dissert work in, to wine? Uh, like everything in life, accidents. <laughs> tell, us, tell us about the accident. Uh, very simple. I came uh, for my, my first sabbatical to Davis. Why to Davis? Ah. Davis in California, you know? Yes. In Davis. Uh, I, this is, I forgot the reason, but I came to the chemistry department uh, to work on the NMR uh, instrumentation, and next door there was the energy department. Oh, wow. And the, I, from curiosity, I went in, held some lectures, I came as a visiting professor, but I was caught by this fascinating uh, area, and I spent all my sabbatical uh, uh, sitting in the in the classroom and here uh, the classes. Oh. So you know, I, I uh, practically I finished most of the, of the lectures and I came back home, and I decided that the second phase in my career uh, will be. Uh, chemistry of wine and the wine production and so forth. Wow. So we start uh, planting, uh, making, uh, making wines and planting grapes, and now we have uh, the old catastrophe. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember the names of the chemistry, the wine e- or enology chemistry teachers, professors at Davis? Of course. Sing- Professor Singleton, yeah. which, uh, which is uh, retired, retired, I think, 20 years ago. Yeah. Uh, he was number one in the world in the phenolics compound. Uh, Roger Bolton, which is, I think, uh, he's still now. He, he's the last professor from that time, because he's still teaching. Uh, he's in charge of uh, uh, wine production. Uh, and uh, I think from the old guys, uh, Professor Kanki, which was uh, here, uh-huh. he passed away uh, at last year. He was an expert on uh, micro Yeah. Micro- It was a good, a good time to be there. It was a very good time to be at, at Davis. Yeah, I'm speaking about the 80s and yeah. the 80s and 90s. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, really, it was, I, I, I spent three, three sabbaticals in, in Davis, uh, and I really enjoyed it very much. And as a matter of fact, I took three months uh, of one of my sabbaticals in 87, left the laboratory and the library, and went to work in a winery as a simple worker, simple cellar uh, worker. At that time, it was called Robert Pepe Winery. Okay. And as a matter of fact, I did it because I wanted not just to write a book on wine from the academical point of view. I want to know how it looks like when you uh, wet you, uh, your hands. Yes, <laughs> yeah. And uh, it was very, very, very helping me. Mm. So where is, is Margalit Winery located in Israel? It's uh, we are we are on the beach. We are we are, loca- we are located uh, middle for middle way from uh, Tel Aviv and Haifa okay. on the Mediterranean. Okay. Uh, we we live in a small village called Caesarea, and uh, the the winery is about uh, two miles from our home in a small village called uh, Benyamina. And we have uh, three three um, vineyards. And what, uh, what grapes do you are you growing there? Well, we start, we have uh, in the main vineyard, which is up in the gallery, very high mountains, we go uh, the variety Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. Okay. And a very small amount, and Petit Verdot, I'm sorry. Oh. Petit Verdot, and we have a very small amount of uh, Petit Syrah. Okay. And the second vineyard, uh, just very, very close to the vineyard, maybe half a mile, is uh, we go Cabernet Franc. Oh. 
And just two years ago, we purchased a new, a new land where we grow uh, Provence variety. We started, we planted them like Syrah, Grenache, Bourvedre. Okay. Yeah, so this is our, uh, our say, uh, wi- uh, vineyard. Are, are Marguerite Winery wines available in the United States? Yes, who, yes. Who imports your wines? Well, uh, there is a company, IWC, and uh, it's Israeli wine, so what the field, whatever, uh, and uh, they, they bring uh, our wine in, into America, and okay. uh, yeah, uh, I think they bring uh, everything. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll check it out, and I'll put a link up yeah. as well. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, concepts in wine chemistry, concepts in wine technology. And basically, chemistry is a big part of technology. It, it, well, it, 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 what kind of chemistry you choose or how much chemistry you choose to study your wines in a working winery depends, uh, influences what kind of technology you need. You speak about me or in general? Well, in general. Well, uh, wine chemistry is a very wide range of, of knowledge, and it covers uh, everything. I mean, uh, from the grapes, before you make them anything, uh, and then uh, what process the grapes uh, passes by, by, by trying to ferment them and all the process till you, you, you drink them after 20 years. In better aging, everything. So this is the basic theoretical understanding of what's going on. It is not most essential how to make wine because people who used to make wine thousands of years we know nothing about even the world chemistry. Right. But probably as much as we understand now, the wine wasn't so good <laughs> just because we didn't understand what's going on. Uh, so, but I decided to write the, the concept in wine chemistry as a theoretical background, what's going on. Okay. So if you learn it, if you study it, it's a very thick book. It's over 500 uh, pages, but it contains almost everything theoretically, uh, what's going on. And you have to know uh, the chemistry background. It's better if you have it. Uh, at least, at least high, uh, high school, but it's better if you have any, anything, any knowledge about chemistry. Yeah. The, uh, uh, we're we're going to go to a short break here. When we come back, we're going to continue our conversation with Dr. Yahir Margalit, who is the author of Concepts in Wine Chemistry, Concepts in Wine Technology. The brand new third editions are available, and I'm going to read off to you the table of contents from each when we come back. Well, of course, we'll have links up for you to purchase and learn more. You're listening to Wine and Dine. Dr. Yair Marguerite Margalit is joining us today from Napa. St. Helena to be precise and he divides his time between Israel and Napa we're continuing our conversation about his new books third edition that are available that are published by uh, Wine Appreciation we'll have links up there as well because from there you can see the summary of the book but I'm going to read to you the table of contents from Concepts in Wine Chemistry, because it'll give you an umbrella overview of what is in the book. Uh, the, of course, uh, introduction. Uh, first chapter is must and wine composition. Second chapter is fermentation. Then we have phenolic compounds. Then we have aroma and flavor. Oxidation and wine aging. Oak products. Sulfur dioxide. Cellar processes. Wine faults. Wine and health legal aspects and wine chemistry of old times what how did you come up with the division of chapters with so much information uh well when you, uh, you asked me how did i develop the the structure yes uh, when i started i i got to line up 
a general uh, chapter of, you know, I didn't know what I'm going in. And while I was getting the material to write the book, and I got so much information, yeah. and, and just to organize them in the right, in the right way, so the reader could could find exactly what he wants, and with any uh, sense connection with each chapter, this is my was my decision. And uh, but of course, many many subjects are are, are spread between many chapters uh, because they are interconnected. So, uh, but right now, each chapter can be read separately. It's a it's yeah. a huge yeah. huge. Chapter on, on the field of wine. Oh, I mean, and okay, so I'm thinking of people who are studying, even like for a sommelier exam or something, and they are studying aroma and flavor. You're, uh, yeah. And you have it divided up into taste, floral aromas, vegetative aromas, fruity aromas, bitterness and astringency specific flavors. This is all very, very useful. And then you give references. So people can, can even jump off from there and learn more. This wine and health. So many people suffer from red wine headaches, or they have problems with amines and they don't even realize it. Or it's so thoughtful of you to include um, a discussion on de-alcoholized wines and organic wines. You've got a chapter devoted just to sulfur dioxide as food products preservative and and the connection with the uh, in wine it's just this is something that's not just for the academic or the producer this is very useful interesting conversation that people can use just in a conversation in a wine tasting you are right but uh, uh, still uh, it's it's uh, the facts are, 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 are uh, scientific facts yes uh, because you know not just I, I'm saying it, it it's it's the, the collection of, of many 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 people working it in the in the laboratory and got got a uh, conclusion and I bring it in the, in the book so uh, it's based on, on, on a lot a lot of work of many many people and it's also for example if you take the aroma picture uh, chapter at the beginning the, the huge 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 uh, um, section on a general concept, what is uh, aroma, how you evaluate wine, what are the, the terms you people use, what are the statistics you have to do with it, you know, it's, it's really wide, so if you go in, into any subject, uh, I, I try to give a, a theoretical background so you know how it's connected to the whole subject. I'm g- I'd like to... Uh, read off the the chapter headings for concepts in wine technology. You start with pre-harvest, then chapter two is harvest, then chapter three is fermentation, chapter four is cellar operations, chapter five is barrel aging, chapter six is bottling, chapter seven is specific subjects. This is like you're teaching people how to be a winemaker and how to run a, a winery, a cellar. It's just, it's fantastic, all in one book. Yeah, but it's, uh, uh, well, it's not a, 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 a cookbook how to make wine. It's, as a matter of fact, it's a kind of, uh, it's a continuation to the, to the first theoretical book of wine chemistry. This is the practical aspect, how you use your uh, theoretical knowledge to make wine. So it's really practical. This is why I called it uh, wine technology. But it's not a cookbook. It's not take grapes and put this. It is not. It's the the the, the, um, the knowledge of making wine in each stage. Oh, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So nobody. I don't. I don't. I didn't even want to uh, make uh, a cookbook. It's okay. not. It's not. These two books are books which are aimed. As a matter of fact, I saw in my in my readers, I saw two two kinds of, of uh, audience. One uh, is students of uh, in any university. Yes. Textbook. Yeah. If you if you learn winemaking or uh, uh, fermentation scientist, uh, science, you, it's very very good textbooks. And the second audience uh, is the the winemakers uh, yes. working in in, in any in any winery. And I, I found my wine in my books in almost any wine in the world when I visit that. You know, really? They, they asked me to sign a book. Oh, 
Alleluia. And as a matter of fact, there is a third section of, of readers, which are the wine consumers, the more intellectual, uh, which, are, which want to yes. learn what's going on behind it. Right. So I, I hope I, 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 I did uh, uh, really aim toward this section. Mm. The, you know, for somebody who is a winemaker, especially if they're starting out, it might be useful to know what the heck is a stuck fermentation. It's a big problem. It's a big problem. <laughs> yeah, once you've got it, you're facing it, you're in a problem. And uh, uh, you ask me, uh, what, what, what the question, please? Yeah, oh, yes. It, what, I mean, from f- f- not everybody knows what stuck fermentation is, but if it, it we if we're not if somebody has a stuck fermentation and they're able to unstick or fix the fermentation do we detect that in the bottle in the glass of course, of course. Uh, in the glass no no you have no effect uh, uh, practically if 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 you solve if you solve the problem which can be solved and this is uh, it, it's a quite uh, important section in in the fermentation uh, chapter uh, first, I analyze the possibilities why it happens, and then how to cure them, and also how to prevent them if it's possible before they started. Yeah. So, yep. as, uh, uh, and I do it on, on first of all on the theoretical basis: uh, what's the possibilities and the reasons, and then how you practically uh, do it. But once you did it. Practically, there is no 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 uh, no signs that there was an uh, stack fermentation. If there is, if, if the problem ignored, you will find uh, you will find it in the bottle, of course. Makes the sense. Wine, the wine will be spoiled. Be spoiled uh, no question about it. And I, I I would say almost anyone, any winemaker, face it. You know, it's so common, uh, and we have to face it every year. On your in the wine concept of wine chemistry, your last chapter, wine chemistry of old times, you you there are a couple things that are very interesting. I just want to uh, throw out the subtitles before we run out of time here. You include fraud, illegal matters, and special techniques, wine critics, wine and medicine, taxes, politics, law, and trade, wine and food, culture, and society. It's very nice. It's very, very nice that you end your book with all of that information as well and give your expert opinion on that. And we thank you so very much, Dr. Yair Margalit, for you know these, this contribution to the academic and winemaking world and for your time today on Wine and Dine. Thank you very much. We will have links up for you to learn more and to order the books. They're both hardcover and 7 by 10 inches. You're listening to Wine and Dine. Before, okay. yeah. Thank you, no, but before you hang up on me, I would like to get a, a liner in your voice that I'm going to use to introduce the segment. So if you could say something like, Hello, my name is Dr. Yair Margalit, and I am the author of Concepts in Wine Chemistry, 3rd Edition, and Concepts of Wine Technology, 3rd third edition and uh you don't ha- do you have a website yes of course what is your website okay it's very simple okay margalit okay uh dash okay middle dash okay winery okay dot com okay a- and Okay, so winery.com. And so do you do you have the books listed on your winery website as well? Yeah, the books the books uh, I mean there is, there is a section on, 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 on uh, of uh, the two books in in the in the in the in our website. Okay. And of course, it, it, it of course the the uh, uh, the publisher. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they, they, they sell it, yeah. Okay, okay well, then uh, you, could, you could say you can learn more online at Wine... Uh, uh, let me see. Wine Appreciation. What the heck is their website? I can tell you what, very simple. If you plug on Google my name, just Yair Margaret, yes, yes. you'll find 
thousands of, of reference where you can buy the book in okay. the internet. Okay, then. Almost every company, Amazon, and Baron and Noble, so who are, who are. Okay. Well, then, then, then say that then. You, and if you if you Google my name, you will you will you'll find where to buy yeah, the book. Exactly. Yes, yes. Okay. So I'm going to bring down my microphone, and you go ahead and start uh, whenever you're ready, because I'm going to use this then in your voice as the introduction to the interview. Okay. Start now. Yeah. Start now. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. I am Yair Magalit. Uh, I am the author of the concept in wine chemistry and the concept in wine technology books, which have been uh, uh, published the third edition. Uh, the first one was about 15 years ago. And uh, that's it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so, so, so very much for your time. Thank you, Lynn. It was, I enjoyed the conversation. <laughs> This, this will begin broadcast by the end of the weekend, and let's say probably by Monday, I will email you with the audio, with the interview link. Very good. And what time? Uh, uh, New York time, right? I'm, okay. a, I'm actually on the coast in North Carolina right now, and it's 1 o'clock my time. It's 1 o'clock on the East Coast. Okay. If you send me it by mail, I will list me. Oh, no, no. I'll, I will email it to you. Uh, ah, um, ah, so okay. all you have to do is click on that link, and it'll automatically start. Um, ah, you'll hear right. yourself on the in, on the on the computer. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Bye, Lynn. Bye, bye.